Hello everyone! The next episode is about to come out really soon, and recently I've made a video on the date of its possible release. I told you guys that I expect Boom to release either the next part of episode 70 or a compilation of the first two parts with the secret scenes added to it on 8th of February. And there is a very good reason for it, the anniversary of the whole Skibidi Toilet series. So today, as we all are waiting for the next episode, I'm going to tell you the whole story of the growth of this series, how it became so successful, and I will also share some secrets about Skibidi Toilets and Boom that you probably never thought about. Now, get your tea and snacks ready and prepare to watch this video to the end, because it's going to be super cool! Let's go! So it all started quite a long time ago, even before the 8th of February last year, because Boom's channel existed long before that date, and he was a talented animation maker even before Skibidi Toilet series was created by him. His channel was created in 2016, although he had been interested in the sphere of animation since 2014. And by the way, if you'll watch the number of subscribers he posts in the main description of his channel, you'll see how big of a progress he made. I mean, the guy started from just 10,000 subscribers from year 2017, and he got his very first million only by the year 2021. And before focusing on Skibidi Toilet solely, he used to create a bunch of small animations without any plot interconnections about all sort of us, including Counter-Strike videos and standalone memes without any particular attachment to anything, like every time I try to sleep or when you hit the toe. Using simple techniques and production through Source Filmmaker Tool, Boom got to be almost perfect in creating hilarious meme machinima videos, which gathered lots of views even before his Skibidi series had been invented. And keeping that in mind, we're now going to the actual secrets of creation of Skibidi Toilet Universe. So, as I already told you, the first episode of Skibidi Toilet with the same title was published on YouTube on 8th of February one year ago. And by the way, I'm having a pretty strong feeling that we're about to see this very first toilet with the head of male underscore zero seven that appeared in this episode, in the upcoming Booms video, which we're going to watch just a few days later. Because everything started with this particular episode and with this actual dude, and considering how many references to the earlier episodes of the series we saw in the second part of the 70th episode, I would assume that it would be entirely possible. And we will see very soon whether this prediction is about to come true or not. In this episode, we hear the famous Skibidi Dop Dop Yes Yes musical line for the first time. And in case some of you guys didn't know, this meme sound was taken by Boom from the Bizer King song of the similar title that got really viral on TikTok. And we should thank not only this guy, but also the TikTok creator named Paris Brian, who decided to use this meme in order to create a funny video with him grimacing in all sorts of quirky and swift ways with a million of acts of it. What's so interesting about it is that Boom had actually seen this video, and he admits it himself that this funny video became one of the sources of inspiration for him to create the Skibidi toilets that we all know and love. And so, the process of creating the funny Skibidi short videos had started, and in the beginning of this series' life, those were just small clips with no real meaning behind them. The whole point of it for Boom was just messing around with the quirky animations with the usage of different assets taken from two of his favorite games, Half-Life 2 and Counter-Strike. The first six episodes of Skibidi Toilets were just a couple of meme videos with the multiples references to Half-Life series and with a lot of little Easter eggs, all of which I analyzed on my channel, so check it out if you forgot some details about those episodes. Despite them being just pieces of some funny, unserious material, they already contained some sort of basis for the future plot of Skibidi series to start off, but the true potential of the viral meme that Boom created started getting slowly but surely released by him only from episode 7. And we could notice the results of the quality of his series getting more and more increased with time, as the episodes started taking longer time in order to get released. If the earliest episodes had usually taken no more than a few days to publish, but now we have to wait a few weeks to see what's coming next. And though Boom had promised to start releasing them much quicker than before the new year of 2024, in the message for his audience in his official Discord channel, it seems like this promise turned out to be quite difficult for him to keep, as the waiting period didn't get shortened for us. I'm not going to deep dive into the evolution of series plot that much, because that's what my analyses of each episode are for. So instead, in this video I will concentrate on the main aspects of the Skibidi toilets that had brought them so much popularity. 
For a lot of people, such rapid growth and popularity of this series still remains a mystery that cannot be truly grasped. Not for me, though. So now I'm going to explain the whole phenomenon of Skibidi toilets to you from the perspective of both a fan and a long-term analyst of it. Well, first of all, as I already mentioned before, the Booms channel was not created just yesterday. He was a well-established machinima animator for a few years prior to Skibidi Toilet's success, so he had some resources and audience that would make it easier for the series to go viral. Second of all, due to his experience in the sphere of animation, he pulled the almost impossible trick. He actually created a series of not only hilarious but also quite well-crafted memes. And as they started exploding all over the place, he hooked on this new opportunity and started increasing his quality rapidly, not only in terms of graphics and details, but also in terms of plot. So the viewers that firstly came to watch a few funny talking heads with creepy facial expressions that create huge mess around, then could have found themselves really attracted to the actual plot line that evolved with every episode. And also the goofiness of the idea about human heads being attached to the moving toilet tanks itself sold the series pretty well. People just never saw something like this before. And that is surely a perfect recipe for a massive attraction of viewers. And now, here comes the funny part. Let's talk about the viewers themselves. Yes, about you in particular, my friends. Or maybe not about you in specific. I don't really know the way you behave outside of your screens. And don't get offended, fellas, I'm just partly joking in here. So, another important aspect that pushed the popularity of Skibidi Toilet so far is that it was being massively consumed by the kids of Generation Alpha primarily. These fledglings were never introduced to the old machinima memes before, because at that time, they hadn't even been born yet. So, the boom's creation was really an eye-opening experience for them, and it drove them freaking crazy. And of course, it also added a lot of fuel to the fire of rapidly increasing popularity of Skibidi Toilets, not only in USA, but all over the globe. Let me remind you of that cute little thing called Skibidi Toilet Syndrome. It is a general term that parents used in order to describe the detrimental effect this show was supposedly having on their children. And man, it was a really huge deal among parents back in the old good days. Some of them have even documented how their children were getting literally obsessed with the Skibidi Toilet series. Those children have been sitting in baskets or boxes and behave as if they were Skibidi toilets. And guys, that's the most ridiculous and funniest thing I've personally heard in my entire life, if you ask me. And by the way, speaking of personal questions, were any of you getting inside of the boxes as well? Be honest with me, guys. I am capable of keeping your dirty secrets. So yeah, all this fuss created a whole hysteria among the people that never heard of any machinima memes or Skibidi toilets in their entire life and they wanted to burn this devilish thing with holy fire, or something like that. There were even a bunch of hilarious petitions claiming to ban Skibidi toilets, not only from YouTube and the internet in general, but also from the face of the earth. This massive fuss over nothing made the series that was already famous enough literally explode in popularity. And another thing that played the role in all of this as well was the universal attractiveness of this whole idea of never-ending war between Skibidi toilets, cameramen, speakermen, titans that looked like huge robots from such movies like Pacific Rim or Transformers, and the new characters that just kept coming. The obscure but undeniable quality factor of the series was so big that even multiple respected magazines and newspapers wrote a couple of praising articles in defense of Boom's creation calling Skibidi Toilets a full-format culture and media phenomenon. The series also inspired a huge number of fans to produce their own content, and then even different multiverses and alternative variations of the original series plot started appearing on YouTube from other talented animators or video creators. I can say that this series was so good that it inspired me to do my analytical content as well. So don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to my channel, because I'm always trying to give you the best and most entertaining content out there. So, as the anniversary episode gets closer and closer, I am looking forward to the next thing Boom has prepared for us. I really hoped you enjoyed today's deep dive into Skibidi Toilet series history, because you really need to get to the roots sometimes. And that was me, Iso Toilet. See ya!